Hey Jordan, Geo here with Scene Enhanced Marketing LLC. Hope you're having a great day, buddy. Want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Try not to keep you too long here today. We're going to be going over three simple ways to beat your competition online, and those three things are content, backlinking, and citations. And so we'll jump right in, Jordan. Uh, we recommend anywhere from 1,500 to 2,000 words of content just on the home page alone of the websites that we build out for customers. Reason being, man, when Google crawls these websites, which they do frequently, they're looking for relevant keyword phrases. And so what that means is, you know, they're looking for uh, phrases within the websites that have to do with services that customers are searching for in those areas. So for example, for competition within your neck of the woods, you know, and again, services that you've mentioned you want to, uh, you know, mainly do, hardwood flooring, for example, those are the keyword phrases they're looking for. So hardwood flooring, Amory, uh, some other cities you mentioned, hardwood flooring, Somerset, hardwood flooring, Woodbury, you get the idea. Google's looking for these keyword phrases and they really hone in on the home pages of websites. And so over time, they're going to start pointing customers to the websites that contain the most relevant information, uh, the most relevant keywords. So I hope that makes sense. So as much as you know, it's awesome that you guys have a site up here uh, that's pretty clean looking and has the foundation and the basics. You know, again, I just want to show you a website that uh, that we built out for a client here, you know, a tech company, just to give you an idea. This is the home page right sitting at around 2,000 words and you know testimonials there which is huge uh, prospects love that right when they're looking for a contractor uh, right on the home page and just tons of content loaded with those keyword phrases so again over time uh, Google's starting to recognize this site as a relevant site in their industry and, and it's starting to pop on searches uh, again for the services they offer in their area so moving on from the importance of content, I wanted to uh, quickly explain backlinking and how that works. Backlinks are very important, Jordan. Uh, not uh, only, um, not all backlinks are created equal, rather. So what that means is uh, many backlinks provide a lot more power and influence to websites than others. And again, it's similar to the keyword phrasing um, with relevancy that I was talking about earlier. With backlinking, you know, you want it to be industry specific. So, and a backlink is just another website that provides power and influence back to your website. So, for hardwood flooring, for example, you know, your website, you're wanting to rank for those specific searches, you're going to want to go over backlinks that have to do with hardwood flooring. So, hardwood flooring supply companies right, maybe home improvement companies, those type of websites, those type of backlinks are the ones you want to go after for the proper power and influence back to your website versus say, you know, just a Macy's department store or a local Domino's pizza. I hope that makes sense. And so just to stay on the backlinking theme real quick, a third party tool we use to measure analytics uh, for any website online is called Arifs. And I've got your URL plugged in here, as you can see, it's a brand new site, so you're not going to have any data, you're not going to have any traffic, at least not any organic traffic, right? So that's what we're seeing here. Now, uh, I did a search for, real quick here, uh, Woodbury, Minnesota hardwood flooring. I saw that's the most populated area that you service, and this Wedgwood flooring was coming up. We'll skip over this map pack top three here for a second. I want to go into the organic rankings, which commence here. And third from the top, Wedgwood. And typically you're going to just have directories like Yelp and Home Advisor uh, in the top three uh, organics usually because they're just such powerful national sites. But Wedgwood here in the top three, that's impressive for an organic search in a heavily populated area for uh, hardwood flooring. And so, you know, click on their site, see what they got going on here. It doesn't look like anything crazy. Some lots of content though and the testimonials like I showed you on the sites we build out so just a little a little bit more going on but I think what's happening is they've got some good backlinking going on and I, I, I threw that into our third-party tool here as you can see 
And so, you know, again, 38 backlinks, not crazy, but I just want to show you these organic keywords that they're ranking for. So this goes back to what I was explaining at the very start. Look at these searches, hardwood flooring, refinishing, Minnesota position on this right hand column first, you know, wood floor refinishing, Minnesota first. And look at the volume of these keyword searches. I mean, these are heavily volumed keyword searches and this company is ranking first in organic rankings uh, for multiple keyword searches. So real quick, I just want to show you a backlink strategy we tell our clients to do. Um, it's very straightforward. We tell them just go over, go after the same backlinks as the competition. And so we can do one together here. Remember how I had stated that you want it to be industry specific. So we'll click on their referring domains, kind of scroll down here and boom, the hardwood flooring blog spot. So this is a blog. Uh, it's still a website though. And just to elaborate on the backlinking. So all that's happened here is Wedgwood Hardwood Floors has embedded their website address somewhere onto this blog spot, this hardwood flooring blog spot. And so the hardwood flooring dot blog spot is providing that necessary power and influence I was referencing earlier back to Wedgwood Hardwood Floors. And again, over time, Google's recognizing that and they are ranking Wedgwood hardwood flooring accordingly. Top three or third, if you will, in the organic rankings. Next thing I want to talk to you about, Jordan, is citations. Citations also very important. And they're just directories online where you can list your company's information. So places like Yelp, Facebook, White Pages, Yellow Pages, you get the idea. This is a hardwood flooring Amory Wisco search here. You've got hardwood flooring stores and lumber stores coming up for one and three. But look at Stone Creek here uh, in the second slot. So they're in the local Google My Business map pack, we call these. I don't think you have a GMB for Honest Homes yet. Uh, I would recommend, you know, putting one together most definitely. Uh, if you're like me, I typically don't scroll past the top three, especially if I'm searching for a service from my phone. Everything is available at my fingertips, reviews, location, linkage to website. So this top three map pack, as we call it, is very coveted. And what makes it different from the organic rankings where the backlinking is really uh, what allows you to rank uh, in, in the organic rankings, citations are the main influencing factor for the local Google My Business map pack. And so we really, really emphasize the importance of citations. Same strategy as the backlinking. We go out and get the citations for you so that over time, you not only get more citations than the competition in here, but you develop a space cushion, dozens and dozens more. So by the time they realize anything is happening, they won't be able to catch up to you and you continue to take on all that new online business. And it's really a beautiful thing. So I hope that makes sense. So the last thing I wanted to touch on was the social media angle, Jordan. Uh, again, I don't know if you guys have a Facebook business page for Honest Homes. Uh, my, my assumption is no. And this is just, I just pulled this one up real quick because it was fresh. I just did a post today. We recommend three to four postings minimum per week for the uh, business pages that we manage. Reason being, it just, it's engagement. It's all about engagement, man, right? And this is not an ad spend or anything like that. These are just uh, generic posts. You know, we like to throw in the videos once in a while. As you can see, just keep it fresh, uh, engaging things for you know, for you prospects, clients to uh, engage in, ask questions, and Facebook picks up on the algorithms. They continue to show people more and more of your stuff uh, the more that they tend to stop and look at it. And it's really that straightforward. So I just wanted to show you that angle that's also available to promote your business. Uh, 4.3 billion people worldwide with Facebook. I run my business through Facebook solely. Uh, it's, it's just really an underutilized platform when it comes to growing your business. So in closing, Jordan, again, thank you for taking the time to watch us. I'm sorry it took, you know, 10 minutes to get everything across to you. I just wanted to make sure that I explained it properly so you fully understand it. This is 100% free information. Like I said, if you want to utilize this, you and your wife want to utilize this, um, by all means, this video is yours to keep. 
um, you know, 100% free information. Now, if you do want my help with this, I'd love to chat. You can definitely reach out to me. Uh, we can discuss things further. I know we uh, have been talking a little bit uh, through Messenger, and I would love the opportunity uh, to dig a little bit deeper uh, to find out what your goals are and, uh, you know, what what avenue you really want to push forward to help this business take off because I can tell your work's outstanding. Uh, I believe in your business just from the little bit of uh, – just from the little bit of you know imagery and stuff I've seen online surrounding it and lastly I believe in you man just from talking to you uh, I can tell that um, that you want to grow this thing and I'd love to be a part of it so again in closing thanks a lot for taking the time today and I hope to hear from you soon thanks Jordan